104. Althea resolves to kill Meliager. Once upon a time, Meliager, son of Althea and Kinonius of Caledon, had slaughtered his uncles Plexippus and Toxius, over a dispute regarding the prize of the Caledonian boar hunt. When Althea learned that her brothers were slain, she became furious. But when she learned that her son Meliager had killed her brothers, she was grief-stricken. Being the sister of the murdered and the mother of the murderer, Althea's heart was torn apart. Vengeance, for her dead brothers demanded killing her son, but her motherly love implored sympathy, kindness and forgiveness. Her sisterly anger contorted her features, but her motherly compassion dissolved them. The contest ensued between a mother's kind breast and a sister's raging heart. The love, for her son made her eyes wet with tears, but the love, for her brothers made her eyes glow with wrath. As soon as the furious heat of revenge had dried her eyes, they became moist with new tears. And as soon as fresh tears drenched her eyes, they again dried up craving retribution. As a ship, caught between opposing tide and wind, sways vexed in both ways, similarly, the heart of Althea caught between conflicting passions of love and vengeance, swayed distressed in both ways. Pulled equally by motherly love and sisterly love, Althea's differing thoughts tormented her mind. Should her husband Onius rejoice in his victorious son, while her father Thestius mourn the death of his sons? Should the hand of a loving mother prevent the hand of a dutiful sister? Should her son live and happily inherit the wide kingdom of Caledon, while the ashes of her brothers float pitifully in the air, as an avenged ghosts? After experiencing profound suffering, finally, Althea resolved to kill her son Meliager. She decided to offer her son's life as a funeral offering to her departed brothers, to avenge crime by another crime, and to justify death by another death.